Python are you ready? Python did. Mm. Yeah. It's yummy. Yeah. It's really it's right good. There. Ah! Joey Slam. Missing out on some of that prior content. Hey, bro, you okay? Thank you. I, I, I can't even hear myself. Sometimes he just gets a little loud. He just gets a little excited and rowdy, guys. Now, hold on. Look, look at him right now. Look at him. He's all spread out. He's so cute. Oh, he almost licked the camera, guys. He just loves everybody. He wants to show you guys some love as well. Now, I have laid a little mad here because, guys, it's messy. Excuse me, mess, but. Like I said, I'm in the process of moving. I can't wait to show you my house and what we're going to be doing at the new place. Now, guys, what I have in here, I'll bring it to you, is the Fallen Soldier. That's right, guys. Hold on. Let me go ahead and show a little replay of what exactly I'm talking about. Did you get it? Yeah. Dude, you nailed it. For sure. Nailed it. Wow. Nailed it. Finally. Nailed it. All the way through. <gasps> nailed it. Oh, my God. Now, I'm just going to secure this head right there. Just shot a freaking <laughs> oh sorry guys python and as you guys can see boom we have ourselves a nice cold burmese python that's right guys let's take a look look at these patterns guys they're so pretty he's a little it's a little stiff nonetheless now this snake was humanely euthanized as you guys saw I went ahead and have to the Took it out, but nonetheless, guys, just check out these patterns right here. This is going to be making a prime, prime leather coat for my sandals, my slides, guys. I gotta get some slides, I gotta get Kim a little something, something too for all the help, and my boys. So that is doing really, really good. Now, here comes a kind of disgusting process where we have to actually gut the snake and get our meat. That's right, guys. What we're doing today, guys, is having a little meal with this snake guys, inspired by the camera guy himself. Maybe you can see him in the reflection right there guys. Nico, all the way in the back end. Yeah, that's right guys. Now he told me he has the perfect recipe when it comes to these Burmese pythons. Now these pythons are high in mercury. You shouldn't be eating them. At least don't eat too much. It's like if you're eating too much large mouth bass, too much swordfish. When you eat too much of something, it's just not good for you. Nonetheless, you know, too much candy, too much fast food, so on and so forth. Now to begin though, we're gonna go ahead and lay this guy out. Snoop is in the way right now. Oh, he just wanted to be part of the video. We're gonna go ahead and lay this guy out real quick. I'm gonna grab some gloves. I don't mind getting dirty ever. I really don't. But when it comes to something like this, uh, it's gonna get a little messy, guys. I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can uh, without getting in trouble with YouTube as well. So this burn is pretty big, pretty thick, on ice for a couple days, nonetheless. And we just gotta pretty much Get it good to go. Oh, oh no, no, I'm sneaks. Oh, yeah. Whenever you're cleaning things, it's always good to put a lot of trash bags nonetheless, because you can just, all the mess and everything, you just grab all the trash bags and you're good to go and you have a clean floor. So here's the snake. Pretty big snake. Check that out, guys. I'm not a 5'8. And this snake's well above that. It's almost a 7 foot snake. Um, I don't have a ruler on me right now. I wouldn't measure it, but this is one of the many snakes that we found with JJ Swamp King, JJ Swamp King Nico. You might be like that. Stop! No! No. If you look right here, guys, this is exactly where we shot it. Where I shot it with the bow and arrow. And uh, Snoop is eating and licking all this. This is probably not good for him. Snoop! Come on! Inside! Who's a good boy? Inside! Hey, good boy. I'm gonna keep him in the for now. I'm washing his bed because he had a little accident last time. But uh, you know what, dude? Let's get right to it and start cleaning the snake. Alrighty, guys. And with this trusty knife, guys, you have to get this. If you want to do anything with like hide, leather, anything with pelts, this is like the key. I saw it on Catch Them All Fishing 
saw it on Catch More Fishing. I saw it with my buddy Catch More Fishing told me about it, and we did a couple, a couple videos on his channel with this thing. It's so dope. But guys, check it out. Looks like we're gonna get a pair of slides. Look right here. You see this hole right there? That hole that you can actually see me through. That is a shot with the arrow that we got. But look at this, guys. It's such a beautiful hide. I'll, t I'll tell you that much. This skin is it's going to be prime for the slides. But that's uh, probably actually a couple friends of mine that joined me in the taste testing. They did a mukbang where they ate everything super, super fast, super, super quick. And it was our challenge. So we're going to be taking the python meat over there. But check this out. I just This is what I really, really wanted. Nonetheless, like it's a lot. It should be good enough. It's going to be a huge process, a long process making these slides. That's going to take like a month, maybe even two. So that video will be coming out later on once it's almost done, but I'll be filming that. But guys, here's the meat we have right here. This is python. Let's not show that boring part. But right here, this is our python. It's pretty simple. We have meat. We're going to cut this out. It's a very fatty meat nonetheless. But we're going to cut out our chunks that we're going to go ahead and eat and fry. And we're going to make some python. Dip. That's right. It's gonna be like fish dip, but with python instead. So Slayers, as you guys can see, this is the rig we went ahead and used to slay those pythons, guys. He, the man himself, kept in focus. Nico is always in focus because he has all of these lights. Yep. And he was making sure we can see every single python. Now this is an old school, beautiful, classic FJ Cruise. You guys, if you guys are car fans, know that this is actually a prime, beautiful, very, very collectible model because they don't unfortunately make it anymore. Yep. Rip, moment of silence for the fallen. But guys, anyways, this is exactly what we had. We had the light bars, everything, and you guys saw we were successful and we had a great time out there. All right, let's, oh, God, this thing is ready. Guys, we're here. Can you be with careful? Kim Champagne, and she's being kind enough to let us destroy her entire kitchen in the name of the Python. That yes. I went ahead and shot. I know, I know you love the pythons yeah. and everything like that. So, guys, we have this going. We have some oil in here, specifically Western vegetable oil. Now, guys, like I was saying, this is Nico, the cameraman, the man in focus. Ow, that's really hot. That Ow. is hot. Oh my gosh. Ow, my fingers, they're bone. Anyways, guys, that's. Yes, yeah, so. no. It's. Okay, we're good. Oh Anyways, so guys, moving forward, we have our python. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shut up. This was kind of like a little uh, souvenir for you. Oh my god. So maybe we can try to get like those bugs that eat everything, and then you have a skeleton, and we can probably do. Shut up. Like, a you can do that. Skeleton head for you, or something like that. His tongue's right look, here. Look, look, I'm actually petting it like it's alive. I'm like, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of gruesome, but we're gonna just put that okay. right there. No, but this is our python meat right here. Yeah, this I can see. It. it looks like it looks like um, it's like new, like tortellini. It's like yeah, it's actually really, really, really fatty. But what we're gonna do is cut a new, cut all these pieces very, very, very small. Okay. Then we're gonna fry it. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. Get them out. Cut them again, and then we're gonna run it through your fruit po uh, food processor. We should be good to go. Also, so are we making a python smoothie? We're making python dip. I got okay. Ritz crackers to go. You can never <laughs> you go wrong Ritz? with Ritz You crackers. cannot go wrong with Ritz. Okay, Ritz wrong. crackers, yes. Ever. I'm in. So we have this pepper as well. We just need one giant green pepper. We also have the Everglades fish and chicken. Ashley, hey. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Where are you headed? Come and help me. Wow. Hey. What are we cooking in here? We're having some python. Are you ready? Right? Python dip. Mmm. Yeah. It's yummy. Look, look, it's really right there. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. I just came in for water. This is what I walk into. You're, you're sure? This is, you sure? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you see the tongue? I know. It's like, I was like, I'm in it. Literally. Yeah. Did you have a French kiss? I mean, you want to try it's it? you want to dry it out? No, kidding, okay. kidding. Okay, let her, let her get her water, let her get her water. So Slayers, like I was saying, we have this Everglades fish and chicken seasoning right here. It's the uh, all in Juan. And then we have the mayo, mayo as well. We have a couple ingredients. It's very simple, very bland, but very flavorful all at the same time. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here first. We're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this pepper right now. Look! There we go, guys. We just cut all those peppers really fast. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this to the side. 
I'm gonna open up one of these knives. Kim, could you help me cut one the million snake? pieces of the snake? Yeah. So we're cutting them small? Small pieces, yeah. So here's your tool. Please don't stab me. Just, just hold that one camera too. Perfect. And we will get our snake good to go right now. We're gonna cut pretty much all of this into small, small, very small pieces. So me and Barla, like super nice, small, super small pieces. You're gonna mince it pretty much mm. because you want to make sure it cooks through. It's a very fatty meat. It's okay. part of the recipe. So yeah, it's it, part of the recipe. It is part of the recipe. <laughs> Here, check it out, guys. So these are pieces just like that. Very small pieces, just like that. Little chunks. All right, Kim, can yeah. you hold this for me right here? I have to put all of the python in there, okay? All right, here we go. That's all the python. Now what we need to do is season it. So we have a couple of stragglers on the ground. We'll get that up after. Stragglers, where you go? All right, we have that. We just gotta load this thing up. Oh, yeah. It's gonna get fried, so it's just... Loading up like chicken. Pretty much, pretty much. Ooh. What else are you gonna put on it? That's it. Oh, really? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Because remember, we're going to be processing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Snake smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> Snake smoothie, guys, 101. This is how you do it. It's, it's, as you can see, I'm having a tough time. Yeah, it's really it thick. Is it, is it like more rubbery or sticky? Is it's it kind of like rubbery. Boot, right? It's definitely like mm -hmm. you're eating a boot. If you ever got bored and decided to chew on a boot after like a really drunk night chew or something. Chewing on a boot? Yeah, it's pretty much just like that. Okay. So, Can you try the snake? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. So we just, you have to put enough. You really have to put a lot of seasoning so it can hold and wrap it. Because it's such a fatty, fatty, it's a fatty, 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 fatty. It's a fatty with a fatty. It's a fatty with a fatty. That is, <laughs> that's, every, that's about the same noise it makes too, yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's a laugh a little. Hello. See what's going on there. So guys, we're just running around just like so. Rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. Should be good enough. Some pieces will taste a little saltier than others, but again, we're gonna be processing the whole yeah. thing. So, this is the scary part. What? Put oh, it we're in trying the to oil. try it? Oh yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Wow, holy burn. It's toasty. All right, so I'm just gonna put this whole ball in here. But beware, guys. As you can see, Kim's gone. Look at that. Put a couple pieces at a time, just like this. It's toasty. Very hot oil. I have it on high, so it can cook all the way through. So here's an example. You kind of want them to look like what we call like pork rinds, chicharrones in Spanish. And then you're going to process that again. There you go. Someone said chicharrones? <laughs> right here. You want to try it later? Yeah. See right now? Go ahead. Let me know how it is. It smells like reptile. It smells like reptile? Does it taste like reptile? Mm. Is it really good? Yeah. It's actually really good? Chicharrones for real. Oh, man. You can't go with that wrong with that. It's literally chicharrones. Like, this is just straight fat. That's what it is. Usually, chicharrones or pork rinds in English, it's just pork fat. Yeah, it tastes really good. Oh, wow. And that was without the seasoning. I'm excited. Yeah. Now I'm kind of curious, guys. This is Nico in focus. I know. Recipe. Thank you for this recipe. And it's, problem. it's 10 out of 10, and that's usually you do it with some crackers and you go from there. So I'm going to continue dropping all of this inside the pot. Oh, ow, my hands are starting to burn. There's oil on my jacket, but we'll tune in once this is done cooking. You have some that are cooked like, like so and some that aren't. You just got to keep moving around. I dare say we're probably about three minutes in right now. It's gonna take, with this amount of, uh, of Burmese python inside this pot, probably about 10, maybe 15 minutes. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm excited for that, some of that python dip. All right, Slayers, welcome back to another episode. So right now we're wrapping up over here with the python. <laughs> and as you can see, you're gonna want them all to get nice and golden toasty like that. But we still have a little bit to go, so we're gonna keep you guys posted, so stay tuned and you guys are gonna love this one. Look at that. It's like almost your, your, your channel, bro. <laughs> oh, watch out. You know, Nico and the uh, snake bits. Not bad. No, but guys, he's very, very passionate about this recipe. So, I mean, we have to just give give complete props to this dude. So Look I've, at that. This is probably like the 10th snake, something like that, that I've had to... 
trial and error. It's a trial and error just to get it like this. Because before, the other ways that I've cooked it, it just doesn't do it. And then it's like it's too chewy or it's too firm or something like that. But this one, this one for you, Gordon yeah, Ramsay. Got... Hey. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay out there. I know he's watching. But, uh, Nico Ramsey, baby! So it's been actually close to 25 minutes, guys. And that's exactly what you want to see right there. Wow. Nice and crispy. Now you guys saw the chunks. I'm showing you guys the chunks now, what they look like before. And now, what they look like now. If that makes any sense. I said now too many times. <laughs> but, yeah, it really did. But these guys are ready to go. They look good, delicious. And honestly, this is a whole snake. And this is what you get out of it. That's all you really get. I mean, you yeah. can get very meticulous in regards to the pieces you want to pull. But it's such a fatty, fatty animal that you just gotta fry it. Check it out, girl. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? So we're just getting the remainder of that, turning off the oil, turning off the. Uh, you gotta be careful. But yeah, looks That's pretty exciting. good. I'm excited. So now we gotta let these guys cool off, and then we put it through the food processor, and then we mix it together, and boom, we got ourselves some snake dip. And we're ready. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do is probably put about. Okay. Oh boy. Thanks again for letting us use your kitchen, by the way. Yeah, no problem. Anytime, man. Anything for the slayers. That's right. No, for the, um, never mind, I was going to say for the slay daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should I just put the whole thing? Like, is that okay? Because they're kind of small, too, so. Go for it. The whole thing. Yeah. Every little bit. I think one for mom. I'm going to put a mom. Okay. So. Securely in here. Wow, my hands are really oily right now. No, we don't do poles. All right, dip. We're on the way. Ah! Oh, little sneaky. Go bye bye. Yeah, I think we're Gucci. Oh yeah, check that yeah. out. Check that yeah. out, guys. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, baby. All right, now we gotta just add some mayo and some green peppers and we're pretty much good to go. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little more. Yeah, no, yeah, right in there. You're just right in there? Extra yeah. flavor. Extra, okay. Tell me what's your flavor. All right, well, but look at that. Hold on, take a moment, guys. Little... Look how thin that is. Yeah, wow. Wow, that's the dip you want right there. Process, we just put that. Here, just a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Get some solid stuff there. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Everyone's coming in now. They're about to yeah. have a little taste of this snake dip. All right. Ooh, now we just add mayo. Add mayo. Right now, yep. Right now. We're gonna have to add a lot because it's a lot of snake dip. Should we do like a spread or something like one of these? Yeah. Just whip it. Just How's whip it. How's the snake tasting? It's gonna taste pretty good. It what is. is that? Sour cream? No. It's mayo. Mayo. It's mayo. The real mayo. The real mayo. Got it. It has to be real mayo, not like real. None that light stuff. Not that whipped. You know that like whipped stuff? Yeah, it's yeah whipped. that's gross. The whipped cream. Ooh, flick of the wrist. Look at that. Keep it wow. going. Yeah, you gotta keep mixing it there. Wow. We're gonna have a lot of dip, guys. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of dip. Do you have good chips? Rich crackers. We have Ritz crackers. That's Ooh, that's the best. best. That's best. Holy. The best. I was kind of thinking Tostitos, though. You know, like Who Tostito chips? Like, no, no. Who doesn't love Tostitos? Right, right. No. What? Get out of here. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. This is it. We're done. This did. Let's, we can go ahead and just set it all up, get everything going right now. I'll and get the Ritz. We can, we can dip down. Look at this. The famous in focus Ramsey Python dip, guys. Straight out of the Everglades. Do we even have Everglades seasoning? You know, we like to keep it local out here. <laughs> we have everything you need. Go for it, guys. Yeah, okay. One of those, are those crackers right there. Here you go. You first. No. You first. No, 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 no. Nico first. Oh, yes. Nico, Nico first. first. I'll take the camera, brother. I'll yeah. take the camera. We're good. I'll take All the right. camera. Here you go, buddy. Let's see if it lives up to. Let's see what we got. What I remember. Dun, 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 Let's dun, see, bro. Dun. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah. He's happy because it's his yeah. recipe. My dude. Is you're that missing out? It's that good. 
Aw, can't kiss any. Hold on. Go. Let's see. Wow, is that yummy? Oh my goodness. You would not think that this is bite. You would never think that this is bite. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. You want to try it? This is some good stuff. Break your vegan habits. <laughs> I don't know. Is it like worth it? Yeah. It's totally worth it. I think aye, so. Yeah, yeah. Would it's vegan a say python. yes? It's python. Would no, you like to try kosher. some? I will get. I will get majority of the peppers. So it's kind of like a. Okay. Gives it the crunch. Do it. Give it the crunch. Guys, this is absolutely insane right now. <laughs> dude, hold on. Is it, let me have some left before you get rid of it all, dude. So worth it. Is it really let me good? Get in there. Let me get in there. So worth breaking the vegan um, diet. Hold mm -hmm. on. Wow. Is this is this for real right now? Whoa! All right, good. How about I get the camera okay. back? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You're gonna go oh, over God. here. Is this for real? Hold on. Is, is are you guys serious right now? Yeah. Uh, wait. Is she, really, is she digging in? That's too legit. Oh, yeah, Slayer's Absorb it. Taste it. Mm -hmm. How is this good? I it's can't a, believe it's it. a rest, It's my recipe, it's so man. Good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. I got scared. I was like, wait, wait, you don't like it? No, it's actually really, really good. Are you going in for seconds? I have no choice. Yeah. You, already okay. put, you already put the cracker in there. Oh, my God. you, man. Okay. This is. This oh, side. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's how you do it. That's how you do it. So, come on. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Guys, shout out to Nico for this recipe and my boys who helped us catch this. Kim and Ashley for letting us through the kitchen. And we'll see you on the next adventure.